There's a few options you can use for audio when you have your smart board. The first one and easiest one is just to use an existing speaker system connected to your computer. If the computer's at the front of the classroom, the speakers you already have will work just fine. If you have an FM system already in your classroom, talk to your ITS tech about getting your computer hooked up to your FM system so that it runs through the existing speakers in your classroom. This makes the most use of the existing equipment you already have and is um, really efficient. If you're installing smart boards, whether it's the integrated all-in-one unit like this one here um, or uh, just the normal smart board with a, a separate projector, one of the options you might want to look at is the integrated speakers. This is nice because it's all part of the smart board and it has a built-in volume control right here so you can turn on and adjust the volume for whatever it controls the volume back to your computer. Uh, the other nice feature here are two external USB ports which are connected again back to your computer. So if you have a memory stick, if a student brings in something on a memory stick, even if you have another device that you wanted to plug in here, it's just like plugging it into your computer by plugging it into this uh, USB port right here. So the integrated speakers are one option, the existing FM system in your classroom is another option, and the third option would be using a speaker system hooked up to your existing computer. So that's it for audio options.